Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, so as you probably already know, with the latest version of 0 0.90 or 0 0.90x, because I'm not sure exactly what subversion they're on, but with this latest version came all kinds of awesome new features. One of those that I've been waiting for for a while is the ability to utilize the Home Assistant Cloud and remote access your Home Assistant box. By using the Home Assistant Cloud, we don't have to open our uh, Home Assistant instances uh, up to uh, the internet. So no more SSL and Let's Encrypt and all that because everything will be handled through uh, Home Assistant Cloud. I know not everybody is on board with uh, paying the $5 service uh, for Home Assistant Cloud and all that kind of stuff like that. But if you do and you're on board with it, because obviously, I, there's tons of other stuff I could be wasting five bucks a month on. Then definitely check this out so you can uh, start using this new feature. Home Assistant uses a new website called nabucasa.com uh, to manage their Home Assistant cloud stuff. So if you haven't already signed up they have a free 31 day trial um, if you sign up you can you know test it out play around with it use it for 30 days see if you like it and if it's uh you know worth paying the five bucks a month for i'll have all the links to uh you know the various websites that i have listed here and, and everything in the description below let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video so of course for starters in order for this to work you will need to be on the latest version of home assistant um, or I say at least 0.90 or higher. So we're going to start by checking our Home Assistant version to make sure that we uh, are on the correct one. Once we do that, we are ready to remove our SSL config. So now that we're going to be using Home Assistant Cloud for remote UI and remote access, we no longer need Let's Encrypt and all that public uh, Doug DNS name. We don't need any of that. So we're gonna remove all that out of our Home Assistant config. Once that's done, we're ready to uh, turn on Remote UI, and we'll do that from configuration in the, uh, in the web interface. After that, we'll go ahead and log in remotely uh, just to see how that works through the, uh, through the website. And lastly, we're gonna set up our Home Assistant app on our iPhone uh, to access using the new remote UI link as well. So let's get started. All right, so as I said, you need to be on at least 0 0.90 or higher for this to work because that's when remote UI became available. So we're gonna go over here and check our version. You can do that by going, uh, we'll do that by hitting the info button down here at the bottom. And as you can see, I'm currently on 0 0.90.1. I think as of this video, I think the latest version is 0 0.90.2. So I'm not all the way there, but I am far enough along that this should work the way we want it to. Once you've verified that and done any upgrades that you need to do, then we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so we're gonna be using Home Assistant Cloud. So we don't need Let's Encrypt or DuckDNS or any of that anymore because everything can stay local and we're just, uh, you know, work through the Home Assistant Cloud to access everything. So because we're doing that, we're going to remove all the uh, SSL stuff and uh, DuckDNS information out of our Home Assistant config because uh, we don't necessarily need it anymore. Because we're testing this uh, and, you know, there is a possibility that I may want to re-enable it or, or go back to uh, being able to publicly access my system. I'm just gonna comment it out so that I can always uncomment it and put it back in if I need to. So once we commented all that out, we can go ahead and save it. I'm gonna jump over to Portainer and just restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. All 
All right, so turning on a remote UI is super easy. All you have to do is go to the configuration tab, and then we're gonna click on integrations. And then as you can see down below underneath the section on Home Assistant Cloud, there it is, remote control. You wanna make sure that that is turned on. Basically, once you've done that, it should generate a, uh, a special Home Assistant Nabucasa link that you'll use to access your uh, Home Assistant instance, and you can move on to the next step. All right, so instead of trying to remember that ridiculously long um, address that they have listed under our remote control tab in our configuration page, all we really have to remember is that we can go to remote nabucasa.com and of course i'll have the link in the description below but you hit that link you log in with your home assistant cloud information as i'm doing here once i get logged in it'll say hey do you want to connect hit the connect button bam all right now we're at our main login screen for our home assistant instance we can log in with whatever our home assistant credentials are bam i am logged in to home assistant just as if I was locally there in my house. Didn't have to publicly uh, open anything up to the internet. Everything works perfectly. That's pretty much it, but as an added bonus, we're going to add it into our iOS app as well on our iPhone, just to show you that you'll be able to use the new Home Assistant Cloud configuration with the iOS app. All right, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you're in your uh, app on your iPhone, iPad, whatever, and you go down to the uh, control panel down at the bottom, and basically where it says URL, you're gonna type in that new long URL in the uh, configuration tab uh, under remote control in our web interface. Um, so if you don't remember what that looks like, this is what that looks like. So we'll type that long address in here. Once you have that typed in, hit validate and save uh, connection settings. Then you can hit done at the top. Uh, I already had mine set up, so it might prompt you to type in your home assistant username and password. Uh, but once you type that in, you should be uh, locked in and ready to go. As you can see, using that as my uh, you know address for the iOS app, and I'm still able to view everything, so everything looks like it is working as it should. That's the end of the video, guys. Super easy to set up. Again, if you haven't tested out the Home Assistant Cloud yet, you get a 30-day trial. Give it a shot. Um, after the 30 days, I think it's five bucks a month. Uh, so I know not everybody's on board with that, but there's a lot worse things I, I could uh, spend five bucks a month on. So, uh, you know, I have no issue with uh, putting it towards what I think is a good cause. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, we started out by just making sure that we were on the correct has or home assistant version. Uh, once we did that, then we removed or commented out our SSL configuration. Um, in Home Assistant. Once that was done, then we turned on the remote UI or the remote control feature in Home Assistant. After that, we logged in to the remote UI just to show you that you can, uh, just to show you how to do it uh, from the web interface. And then of course, lastly, we set up the iOS app as well to be able to use the new remote UI address. That's the end of the video, guys. <laughs> like I said, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, Guys, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.